just bought the team group elite is a uh, 8 gig on each one so there are two 8 gig of DDR4 running at 2666 megahertz and uh, I'm going to open it and put it into the uh, new laptop that's the Lenovo IdeoPad laptop it only come with 8 gig of RAM so I make it into uh, 16 gig so I'm just going to put uh, one of these and the other one for in that my another laptop so see how fast it will increase the performance of the laptop so let's open it up it comes with a package like this that's the uh, memory of how it look like let's, let's open up and look at the memory That's the uh, menu. Show you how to uh, install different memories in computer and laptop. And that's the memory module in front, the back. All right, let's put it in. This is the Lenovo Ideal Pad to upgrade the memory module. First, make sure to remove the power supply. You cannot remove the battery inside, but at least remove the power supply. And flip over to the back. Here we see the uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The ten screw here you have to remove. So there are four in the front. Three in the in the middle, and then three in the rear. Okay, let's remove the, uh, the screw. Get a small flip screwdriver like that. Let's unscrew all this, and also make sure the computer is turned off. So to open up the pack, use one of the two sliders you can buy it on Amazon. Starting from behind here, the uh, the hinges. You see, I open it like this already. Just go around. Be careful, and don't break it. Try right, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Be careful. A little bit, a little bit, it'll pop out. Same as the address in the front. Here. See that? See that? Pop out a little bit. Don't force it. Make sure you don't open it up, otherwise the computer will turn on. So you don't want that to happen. The corner, be careful. See that a little bit? A little bit? Don't hurry, just do it slowly.
Don't force it. See, do it gradually, slowly, slowly like that. Same as the back. Just to decide to See, don't, don't force it out like this. Use the uh, little tool. See that? Alright, the whole thing come out. So here's the back of the Lenovo Ideal Pad 1. This is the battery. Lithium ion battery. And then you have the fan, the CPU right there, the heat sink go all the way here. That's for uh, the memory. I'm going to put the, uh, the RAM in here. That's the uh, hard drive. It's an NVMe hard drive. It comes with 256 gig. That's a Wi-Fi card. That's the USB port and also for the SD card. So now I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory. To put in the memory, here's the uh, the memory I bought. That's the 8 gig DDR4. And I had to put it this way. Make sure the notch here. Make the notch right there. So anymore. So I'm gonna put in. Like that. Now it's all secure. So now you just need to put the uh, cover back on. Just be careful. We do it slowly. So time to put the screw back, just to let you know, these six are longer screw, and then these four are shorter screw. Let me show you. Put the screw back, the long one in the back, in the middle, the short one, not the four short one in the front, long one. Do the corner first, short one. So when you first turn on, you go into the BIOS. Now the memory is 16. Exit. Save changes. Yes. And now it's waiting for it to boot up in Windows. Here we go. We are in Windows. So what I'm doing now is trying to find out the uh, benchmark before the installation. I'm doing the Gitch Bench 5 uh, to test the uh, computer before the installation. And uh, the single core for this computer is 1223 and the multiple core is 3449. That's the uh, CPU uh, running on 8 gig of memory before the uh, upgrade to 16 gig of memory.
Okay, next I'm going to run the uh, compute benchmark, which is testing the uh, performance of the GPU to see how well the image processing by the computer just running out of 8 gig of memory. The result is 7313 on the OpenGL score. Okay, and the next test is the Postmark uh, benchmark. You uh, benchmark the uh, CPU, the 2D graphic, the 3D graphic, the memory, and the disk. And you see how well it runs on just 8 gig of memory. So the result just came out. Uh, overall, the score is 1728.7, is uh, the 18th of the percentiles. Now the computer just upgraded a 16 gig memory, and let's run the uh, Gitch Band 5, and let's see the result. All right, the result came in. The single core score is 1356. Multiple is 39.62, and there's a significant uh, increase on uh, the score. Here you show the 16-gig uh, memory upgrade. So now we're running the uh, Compute Benchmark, which tests the uh, image performance, and the uh, score came out is 8631. Uh, that's the OpenGL score, how good the image processing after the upgrade, and there's a significant increase. Okay, this test is the uh, pass mark benchmark. Uh, that's the testing after the 16 gig of upgrade of the uh, computer. Okay, your score just came out. The result is 2340.8. It jumped from the uh, 18 percentile before the upgrade to 28th percentile the after the upgrade to 16 gig. Okay, let's compare the result of the 8 gig to the 16 gig upgrade. Here we see the uh, Gitchbench 5 score on the single core. It jumped from 1223 to 1356, a 10 per 9% increase. And then on the multi core, it jumped from 34.49 to 39.62, a 14.9% increase. Then on the OpenCL score, which measures the performance of the GPU, it jumps from 73.13 to 86.31, a 18% increase. On the uh, PathMart performance test, here we see there's an increase from 1728.7 to 2340.8, a 35.4% increase in performance. And if you look into the details on the CPU mark, 18% increase, 2D graphic mark, 37.2% increase, on 3D graphic mark, a 34.8% increase, and on the memory mark, 47.3% increase, a big increase, because of the doubling of the memory. And even on the disk mark, there's a 6.6% .6 increase. So overall, it's a well $20 worth upgrade. Thanks for watching.